is everybody doing? It is Paul from Magpie247 and uh, yeah just today I was going to touch on the transfer situation in Newcastle United or lack of should I uh, should I say we've got just over a week to go until we play West uh, West Ham down at the Taxpayers Stadium uh, obviously behind closed doors obviously and um, despite having seven injured players at the moment despite having money to spend supposedly a, quite a pleasant transfer budget considering the circumstances Newcastle or should I rename us Chief Castle United have yet to spend any money I mean we all know that um, Mike Ashley and Lee Charlie love a bit of a bargain but this is becoming a bit of a piss take all we've done so far this summer is Mike Gillespie who we signed before the season really got uh, re going and Jeff Hendricks the Chronicles pin up boy it seems uh, apart from that, we've been linked with Tom, Dick and Harry. Everybody in the mother. But nothing concrete. A week after week just keeps going by. And now we're at the situation that even if we sign these players now, they are going to be ready for the West Ham match. So that is disappointing. Especially the likes of Callum Wilson, who previously with Bournemouth seemed to have a massive hard on every time he played West Ham because he does love notching against the not so hammy happy Hammers. Uh, yeah, you can only put that down to one person and one person only. Of course, it's the bell end at the top of Newcastle uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, that is. That is Lee Charnley. He's an inept clown. He took three weeks to sign Jeff Hendricks, who was a free transfer. Three weeks to get that deal done. It's unbelievable. You know, um, still nothing more on the Callum Wilson one. Although strong rumours obviously around uh, Matt Ritchie being involved in a deal, uh, a part exchange, because it, it's not like Newcastle just to pull money out and pay for a player, is it? We've got to do some sort of shenanigans in the deal. So even when we do uh, supposedly spend money, it is still a little bit on a bright house special. But yeah, getting really concerned. Um, basically the players who we've got fit and available at the moment are the ones that will get the task to go down to London and get something from what has to be a game we're targeting as one of our away victories this season uh, you've got to go down with that mindset down to there but um, yeah from the transfer front obviously like I said uh, before Callum Wilson uh, Fraser we've also been linked with the lad from Greece the 21 year old looks pretty shit up to be honest uh, quick Offensively good, got a cross on him, got an assist on him. Uh, but defensively, it leaves a little bit to be desired. Uh, the chip shop boy, he won't go away. No Danny Rose, his name still keeps popping up here and there. But lots of names do at the moment. The one name I think most Newcastle fans would like, and who is supposedly available in a free transfer, is Jethro Williams. Yet, the inept clown that runs the club hasn't signed off on that one at the moment yet. Um, we're not here, we haven't heard from you know, Steve Bruce <clears throat> in such a while that we don't know his thoughts on any of these links. We haven't been able to get any more meat on the bones. He is radio silent and can you blame him with the fucking cockwomble that's above him? He would even, he would drive anybody insane wouldn't he? He really really would. Even an absolute puppet like Bruce, uh, he's obviously getting to him as well. So, yeah, another week goes by, still no fucking signings to talk about whatsoever. And, you know, a game that should look winnable is looking more and more difficult by the day. We needed the signings, the injuries are mounting up already, and we haven't even kicked a bloody football. We've got Carl Darlow in goal, we've got Andy Carroll leading, leading the line. Any other club would have got this sorted, but no... Not at Slow Castle and Cheap Castle United. Goodness me. Anyway, let me know what you think about the links. Is there anybody else that you've heard, rumoured, or you'd like to see your sign? Let me know down below. I hope you're A-OK, -okay, fitting well. And like I say, avoiding this bastard coronavirus as we go about our normal lives. We've hopefully returned to live football in October. Um, will we even have a victory before then? Who knows if we don't sign some players. Anyway, take care. Keep it tuned. And I'll speak to you later.